What's going on, everybody? It's Coffee in the Morning with your boy, Don Caluminati. Back with another video. So, um, I want to talk about these thetans. That's what I call them, heathens. Thetans is another name for them. For the little demonic spirits that they uh, got inside of them. As a matter of fact, I got that word from Scientology. Scientology, that's what they call them. In Scientology, I ain't for Scientology and none of that. Um, but I definitely did research on, you know, how they conduct things over there, and um, you know how they um, deal with the people's personal demons and stuff like that. You know, they hook them up to this machine and they start, you know, putting frequencies frequencies on them and they start turning it up here and there. But um, it's crazy because it's like the further we get into this prophecy right i feel like it's just easier to tell the people who going to hell you know what i'm saying it's like they sitting in your face they smile they do all this joking and all this laughing and playing and, and, and gaming around or whatever <clears throat> but at the end of the day they know that there's something inside of you that they're trying to avoid and it's conversations like this about the truth and i'm gonna tell you why and i'm gonna tell you the experience that i've seen um you know, going in and out of jail. So sometimes, you know, on the bus, on the way, going to jail, right? You know, you got the COs in there or whatever, the drivers and all that, right? Mind you, these dudes are, these people, you know, they're prone to being ignorant, you know, to the to the men that come through the system. You know, mind you, it's black, a lot of black men that come through there. So they talk all crazy to you. So say if you got to go to court or whatever, you already in a slam or something and then you got to go to court. They got to take you on a bus. That bus, on that bus, they be talking a lot ish. You hear me? They be talking like real crazy, right? So, and I mean, if you want to talk as an inmate, you can talk. You feel what I'm saying? And sometimes they, they be talking to the driver and everything, right? But they, the drivers, they usually be having like this, this certain kind of persona on or some type of attitude. Like, y'all say talking, but this mug's still ignorant, still rude, right? So every time I got on that type of bus, right, and we took those type of trips or however it was around COs or even police officers, even being handcuffed in the back of the car, I could see the nigga shivering, bro, while he driving. Why? Because he can't shut me up. See, the thing is, I have a right to remain silent. That's a right. But if I don't want to remain silent, I can still spit out the gospel. You hear me? And let me tell you what I be saying. And, and I know the Bible says don't provoke the enemy. I ain't trying to provoke the enemy. I'm just letting you know where you're going player you hear me so i'll be talking about hell hell whenever you get in front of authorities like the police you see what i'm saying and they start thinking they got more authority over you stay playing games but like you know you're going to hell sir i'm listen i know that might i know that y'all might feel like that so dog when you say that to them it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like um what uh when that dude said um uh i mean when uh sonia massey was like you know I'm going to call Jesus on you or something like that. But the thing is, it's not as like a, a threat. You see what I'm saying? Anybody can tell somebody you're going to hell. But when it comes from you, after you've been talking that spiritual talk, they really get scared, bro. See, that's why I knew what happened with that Sonya Massey situation. Because I know that the police fear that kind of talk, bro. That's what I'm saying right now. That's, that's exactly what I'm saying right now. I'm telling you that, you know, they fear that kind of talk. They definitely fear that kind of talk because um it's like something in there something in in them you know what i'm saying and they spirit they they know that they ain't gonna make it they, they know that you're one of the righteous ones and you pass in a little bit of information alone that just confirms them of what they already been afraid of this whole time i don't get it these people they're terrified of hearing the consequences i'd rather be terrified of the consequences been hearing from them. These, for goodness sakes, they act like they be scared of us sometimes. Like I said, when we start projecting these messages, they're so afraid that they got to start attacking. You know what I'm what I'm saying? Like, instead of being scared, just change your lifestyle, man. Do what it is you got to do. So you ain't out here trying to fight all the consequences and repercussions you see that may be coming down the line. Now, why do they get so defensive? They wouldn't get that defensive if they didn't believe it was the truth. You see what I'm saying? So deep down inside, they believe that what we're saying is obviously true, you know, in some form or fashion. And they already understand this. The thing is, 
they're just tired of dealing with um, the confirmations of, you know, where they're going to end up over and over and over. So, like I said, man, it's not hard to see a lot of the people who are going to end up in hell, bro. It's like sometimes right now, I feel like I could just look at their face and be like, bro, this, 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 the continents on your face has changed and it ain't changed for the good. And now, you know what I'm saying? You, you starting to look like a spooky demon, like a shadow man. You feel me? And, um, that's the presence that I get off of some people. And it's, 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 it's just a whole tone in their, um, in their body language. It's just a whole tone, almost as if it was pre-designed against us. So every time we come into interaction with them, you know, we're supposed to activate or something like that. It ain't, they ain't got to activate, but they activate when we activate. We may not be, um, we, not, we may not be addressing them specifically. We could just be addressing a situation or we could be making a statement that might be too deep for them that they go reach into their bag of BS. You know what I'm saying? Because they hurt. They butt hurt about whatever it is that the world been doing to them. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like you mad. You mad because you got a bully. You mad because you got a bully. You supposed to be mad because you ain't facing your fears. You supposed to be mad because you scared to face your bully. Why well, y'all got Satan dangling y'all next by the strings and shit. The only thing that y'all consider to do is defend him and the antics and all the defense mechanisms that y'all put in place when we start getting at certain subjects. And one of the subjects is how a lot of these individuals going to be going to hell because they ain't walking right. And that's why I want you to, I want you to make sure that you state that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to say that you're going to hell. You can tell them like people like that and people with the description of things that you're portraying right now. These are the type. Go find some scripture and go read them that scripture to where where it says certain things and their actions will cause them to be in the lake of fire. You got to start pointing these things out. I'm telling you why to point them out. I'm telling you to point it out because, number one, I know it grinds them in their spirit. It, 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 it boils them up, man. They pissed. Why? Because just a second, just a second ago, you thought you had authority over me. You, you thought you did. You thought you did. But when we show them and when we tell them how much God ain't favoring them or when we tell them how much God is favoring us, either or either one of those things, it pisses them off so much that they get in fear. They, they, they get into trembling fear, bro. Trembling fear. The same type of fear that officer had when he shot Sonya Massey. It was trembling fear, dog. And why? Because he knew that she was standing behind something that was so more um, powerful than his whole force. You see what I'm saying? But the force that was inside him, he couldn't control. And it allowed him to pretty much lose his life as well. You see what I'm saying? That could have just been an ordinary. Um, it could have been an ordinary call, a dispatch call. But instead. He came with a demonic spirit and he didn't know when to decipher, you know, the beliefs between church and state. Nigga, when she started talking about religion, this, that, and the third, that was never supposed to, it was never supposed to really register. You at work right now, right? You work for the state, right? All right, separate that shit, bro. You're supposed to be there to do your job. He couldn't separate it. Obviously, his spirit doesn't believe in the separation of church and state because when his spirit was there on the job with him, and his spirit was getting attacked. His spirit got so mad at him. He made him. I'm telling you that the spirit was mad at him, bro. The spirit was mad at him. The demons. Mind you, ain't the demons. They're, 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 they want to do everything they can to stay here. They want to stay operable. Mind you, demons don't want to get beat and they don't want to get locked in jail. So that to tell you right there, the demon had enough. The demon was uncontrollable. The demon said, F it, bro. The demon said, F it. I don't even want this host no more because this host is too weak to do the job that I'm trying to do. You see what I'm saying? So we'll literally pretty much just destroy him. He don't know that that that, that was on call that day. You think the demons in the underworld knew that that was going to happen that day? Nah, I probably hit them by a surprise, too. And it was just like, man, you know what? Because it is because of him, because of dude. I don't know whether it's his willpower, or what was in him, the fact that he got so afraid that he allowed that thing to take over. And I'm telling you, when it takes over, it's not that it's ready to go do his time in jail. You wanna know why? Because let me tell you something. When a demon becomes attached to a host, they like things too. Like 
coffee, alcohol. You understand? Things, meats. They might want to go eat. You eat a lot of food, junk food, cakes and snacks and cookies and stuff. The demons, they, they, they can, um, I, listen, I know y'all say it's spiritual, but how does something spiritual tie to something physical? You don't think that now that that spiritual entity can, can, um, get satisfaction off of the lifestyle of this person. That spiritual entity gets satisfaction. Best believe it. I'm telling you, and I'm telling you, it's very parasitic. And that's why most people who got a parasitic, um, appetite. They're very sickly. They look sickly and everything like that. And if you was to cut them open, you'd see all kind of mess spill out. And you see the type of lifestyle that they live in their diet that they are on as well. That's what I mean when I say that. They don't know that that ain't even their diet. You start getting possessed by a deep, dark entity. And it'll start to change your diet. It'll change your appetite. Because now it wants things that can break down the human body. You see what I'm saying? For it's easier for it to take over and grow more. You understand what I'm saying? And then you become more sickly. You become more, you know what I'm saying, spiritually affected at the same time. You understand? So that demon, it wants to reside in a host so it can live the life's luxuries as we live. That's that's the reason why they hate us. Because they don't even get this life that we live. But see, they don't understand that they they can't live this life because they, they wasn't born a human, dog. You niggas had to have light put in you to be born a human. Y'all niggas wasn't made out of light. It wasn't made out of light. It was made out of darkness. So, you know, the fact that people carry darkness here and you got darkness inside you, well, that's the only thing that they can join in on. And guess what? Guess what? You just shared your life with a demon and now it gets, it, it wasn't, it wasn't made to be able to live in the light, but now you allowing it to walk around in the daytime and eat and drink. You understand? I'm telling you, yo, you y'all, some of y'all people got demons that's sharing a life with y'all that ain't even supposed to. You're supposed to kick these demons out of your life. And I ain't talking about people that are around you. I'm talking about spiritual entities and the things that reside inside of you, dog. Inside of you. I heard some nut stuff yesterday on the TV when they were talking about um about, <coughs> about sins. And they was trying to um delude it because they were saying, you know, like as long as, you know, what is sin or what is evil to you? That's what they were saying. They said evil is something that... um. You know, that's, that causes you to cause harm to another person or this, that, and the third. That's what we believe evil is. And they kind of try to make it seem like that, that checked out. No, evil is what you keep inside your heart. You ain't got to do nothing to nobody to be evil. You could just simply commit an act of sin, which could be fornication. You understand? Not saying that you did something evil to them, but the, the, the act of what you're doing is already wrong. You could be, um, yeah, you could be fornicating in lust. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? So the fact that you, you have a lustful nature and you may fall to temptation and you may not have been um, repentant for these things and you live a lifestyle like that and say you did you never did anything to nobody, but you constantly, you, you practice spells and witchcraft and play with crystals and, you know, you consult with mediums and this, that, and the third, right? All these things said that you would take place in a lake of fire. That means those things you were doing were out of evil. They were out of sin. They would have asked me that question. I would tell you, evil is any action that you commit that is out of sin and against the glory of God. That's evil. But nah, they wanted to they wanted to dilute it to make you feel like the only evil you can ever commit on this earth is if you do something bad to somebody. That gives these people the constant right to keep thinking. They can say, oh well. Well, well, I'm going to make it in heaven because I live a good life. I never did anything to nobody and I'm good to people. None of that shit matters, man. Then none of that matter. Let me tell you how you're going to get in heaven. How are you going to get in heaven is you're going to judge you off your works. Your works. What's your work? The work is spreading the good news of God. The, the gospel, bro. The gospel. Mind you, I'm telling you. You want to, you want to, you, everybody want to get paid, but nobody want to put the work in. How you going to get a paycheck, right? You got to work down here just to get a paycheck. You think you're just going to just smoothly walk into heaven off your own code? A lot of y'all ain't even following Christ. Y'all don't follow Jesus. You don't read that word. You don't pray to God. You don't pray to the most high. You know what I'm saying? And half the things you still do in your life is not favorable to him in his sight. So you sitting here talking about how good you are to people, or how good you are. You ain't shit. What do you mean you you good? That, that ain't good enough, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like people like that, I, I would prefer, you know what I'm saying? You have to die on the cross. You need to carry your cross too, cuz. Don't think that it's just that easy that you could just live a life of, 
you know, not being in the way and thinking that you're setting the tone of self-righteousness to now you really believe you're on your own that you're going to make it into the kingdom of God, bro. When you sit here, you got this knowledge right out here. For goodness sakes, you got the community coming together and you got certain people who want to stand outside the community. They don't want to come together. They would rather stand over here and tell you how much you're talking and wrong about the Bible. But they seem to provide no scriptures. They the ones seem to provide no scriptures. So I'm going to tell you like this. If y'all want to start pointing fingers out here, left and right and the third, this, then the third. If you tell me I'm wrong, if you tell me I'm wrong, please go get the scriptures. Show me where I sinned against God for you to tell me that I'm wrong. Because other than that, you're going to mind your business. You're going to stay out of my lane or, you, or you, 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 you will be reprimanded by me, by me. Because you're not going to sit here and sow discord on me and telling me that I'm sinning against God and this, that, and the third because I'm, I'm doing wrong to you. You feel I did wrong to you by doing certain things in this life. You go find the scriptures and you bring that to my attention. Then I apologize. Other than that, kick rocks. Straight up. I'm a, I'll am get gully like a mug, dog. Kick rocks, bro. Because if you can't prove to me, the Bible says prove all things. You're trying to tell me something right now, right? You want to show me that I'm in error. You show me that I'm in error. Don't tell me. Show me. See, actions speak a lot louder than words, but guess what else speak louder than words? The word of God. Because this word is quick and sharp and more powerful than any two-edged sword. So if you thinking that you're going to have some meat onto, you know, blaming me for certain, certain things that you may believe in your mind is unrighteous because you feel bad about it. I don't feel bad about it. Go, like I said, go show me in the scriptures. Make me feel bad because I ain't, I, dog, I've been reading that Bible too and I ain't, it ain't tell me to feel nothing. You feel me? So... Good luck on that. But find me the scriptures and please do provide for me. You feel like my iron need to be sharpened? Hey, pick away, chip away. Please do. I need it. I, I, look, I would love to study myself approved, but if you want to help me, nigga, hear me? Bring it to me. Because I will never ignore the scriptures. And I suggest you don't either. Till next time, it's your boy Don Caluminati. Peace. I'm love.